Oh, there's Clank Legacy. It's a penny arcade game, I think. Isle of Sky. I wonder what that's about. Oh, hey, there's a whole bunch of these Caitlin games. What the heck? Catan, Dennis. It's Catan. Catan? Really? Let's, let's build a computer. All right. <laughs> All right, Darren, we're going to be putting together a computer for you. And we've talked about this on the podcast several times. So now we get to put pictures behind our radio voice of our gear. It's always nice to see things instead of just hearing about them. So um, let's walk through our build together. Let's start with the foundation. So we've got the Cooler Master. It's the V1000 that we uh, recently reviewed. We'll be upgrading to the cable mod cables in the white. We, uh, we did a video on these already. Yeah, we did, and we love these things. Uh, cooling is going to be largely handled by Cooler Master. They are the masters of cooling. As you can see, we've got several different uh, uh, addressable RGB fans we'll be working with. And uh, the interesting thing about these, these fans, two independent LED strips inside them. One in the ring, one in the hub. And then the fans underneath just have the strip in the middle. So we've got a lot of options there. Uh, we'll start working about the cooling. Obviously, we're going to be working with Thermaltake's uh, C1000. We've had really good luck with that. You may have noticed that we're not doing color this time around. We've got a lot of white going on on the inside. We'll come back to that. This is uh, the Thermaltake Pacific TF2. We're going to be replacing our traditional spinner with a digital. Uh, I'm a little on the fence about that because uh, it seems like a lot more to go wrong, but we're going to give it a try. Storage is going to be handled with a Western Digital Black. We're going to try that out because we haven't used uh, the new black yet, so this is uh, going to be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, storage the two teradyte Samsung, just the 860 because this is just going to be a storage drive for us. Mm -hmm. RAM is Thermal Takes a Tough XG here. Yep, I did a review of this. It's on the hardware site. I'll link it down in the show notes. So DDR4000, we're going to start with a uh, a 16 gig kit, and we'll see if we want to add some more to that uh, oh, as we get into there. Windows 11. Never enough RAM, right? <laughs> Oh, whoa, we got a lot of... Now we're getting into some of the more fun stuff. So, uh, water block reservoir combo comes from EK. This is the Quantum Kinetic. So this is an all-in-one unit that's about the same as a video card slot in size. So you'll see that. Mm -hmm. We got the CPU water block, also the Velocity Series. Yep. Fancy. And then um, we talked a little bit about this before. This is the CPU water block stack. So this two-piece. So we got the quantum momentum, and those two will go together on the motherboard, which we'll come back to. Yep, this is the VRM bridge. The block has to go with it. So we do have an older EK that we might take a look at. Also, we'll be using this beautiful SE360 from EK as our radiator. Mm -hmm. uh, you're probably familiar already with our MSI. This is a 2070 Super. Your hand's in the way. There it is. <laughs> Now we're gonna look at the top. Not much to see there. It's a pretty card. Uh, oh, this uh, again. this will not be water cooled in the initial build. Uh, some of that is because they've already started talking about the 4000 series. So oh, no. we yeah. might skip. We might skip. Uh, the processor. We talked a lot about this in one of our previous podcasts. We went rogue and got a 10850K. Yeah, we spent an entire hour and a half talking about processors which got edited down to about a half hour, and Darren picked nothing that we talked about. So this is going to be a fun one. The 10850 is kind of a dark horse. It's uh, kind of a stripped down 10900K, so we'll see. What's this that we skipped over? Oh, that's because it's long. Thermal take, uh, these are our PETG tubes. It's a four pack. Um, yeah. And we've used these before in all of the water cooling builds. So if we step back here, they'll go well with these fittings that we'll be reusing from the previous water cool build. These are also thermal take builds. Uh, pieces here in black. Straight compression fittings. Woohoo! And then all the way over here, all that's going to go on the ROG Maximus 12, or the X2 kind of looks like to me, Formula Edition, which is, which is specifically designed to go with this double EK block system. Yeah, let's open it up. I okay. Want to see Gotta see if there's something in there. Da -da -da, disc. Hey, there's the board. So let me get this plastic out of the way. So that's going to be nice and pretty, uh, following up on kind of our all black with white accents theme. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I reviewed this already. Woo, yay! A lot. We talk about this one a lot, so it's going to be nice to finally see it in a build. All right, and we got and paste it's, down there, but we got we to make some room, so yeah. we're going to come back. Come, come right back, back to this bad boy. All right, let's get this out. Oh, it's very exciting. It's got a bag, bag of stuff. 
Are you ready, Dennis? I am. Do it. Ta da! Oh my gosh, it's black. We talked about this on the podcast. I will link it down in the show notes because, you know, all of this stuff kind of interrelates. Woohoo! Oh, you didn't pull off the plastic stuff? No, it's like new! You can't do that yet. Oh, you can do that. Okay. All right. You can do that. I was going to pull the doors off. Okay. Show how easy that is. I guess we could pull the back one off too, which is less easy. Yeah. To get them out of the way. So the first step in building a computer is... Get the case out. Second step. Uh, put the power supply in. No, it's a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Third step, profit. Profit. Yes. All right, so we have the case out. The side panel's off. We kind of cleaned out the little box that's inside. What's, uh, what's our next step? So this is the Ventex P500A, the Eclipse. So what we need to do is rough out the build. So what we'll be looking at today is uh, fit and finish, right? Fit and finish. So motherboard, pretty easy. Power supply, pretty easy. Yeah, that's um, obvious. Radiator can go here or here. Oh yeah, we'll have to figure out which one will work best. So, you know, ideally we'll probably be looking at the top and then if that doesn't work, go to the side. Uh, we've got to figure out where the, uh, the radiators and pumps are going to go. Oh, the fans and pumps? Fans and pumps. And then on the back here, we're just going to figure out what we do and don't need from the drives. Since we're only doing a single drive, we'll probably pull the extras off and throw them in the box. Oh, really? You're going to be that guy? Ah, huh? uh, well, we'll strip it out. So, you always want to start with a plan, a good foundation. So the first thing we're going to do is just set the motherboard in there and see how everything fits. Okay. All right, so we're going to do the final, final pre-testing. We have radiator. This is a 360, goes in the top. Okay. And as I mentioned, we can have the ports exit here or exit over here. Probably over here because we're going to have more room. Okay. And then our pump res is this little block. It kind of looks like a distribution block. Go there. And if we put that right there. We've got these offsets that will go here. Yep. And oh. then that would, uh, those attach to 120 millimeter fans. Everything is 120 millimeter, which is a problem because these are 140s, right? Yep. All right, well, first substitution. We'll have to pull those out. Okay, so we took a quick break and uh, things are a little bit more disarray. So what we ran into though, is with the radiator at the top of the case, which you can just put it right here. Uh -huh. like, the radiator at the top of the case, we have a bit of um, a tight spot right here where we have our pump res, drop our pump res in here. You can see that the oh, no. exit, yeah, the exit of the radiator hits the pump res and that kind of a bend, even with the 90 that I put in there, uh, would be a little difficult, especially since the inlets and outlets are down at that part of the pump rest. So what we've decided is that instead of this, which we've got some stuff stuck in, we're going to go ahead and put the radiator in the front of the case with, with the fans on the outside like this. So it'll be a fan radiator pump res sandwich. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have can't really see that. Let's see, get around here. <coughs> there we go. So what we'll do is we'll put the, uh, the inlet and outlet at the bottom of the radiator. And then with a spacer, it should go directly into the bottom of the pump res. And then we'll mount that directly to the radiator. And then we'll have that one connection already set. So it'll essentially be on the front of it. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and take this set apart and come back when we're done. Darren put me in front of the camera to assemble this beast. So we have our 4i9 1085K, right? We'll go ahead and install that. Leave the cap on, by the way. Okay. So when you install the processor, install the processor, there is a locating notch. We can see it right here. That aligns with a pin that's on the socket. And something that's not in any manuals is that the edge of the socket, this one is along here and along here. 
there's a, uh, a cutout in the socket itself. So if you grab the processor like this, you can drop it in there and your fingers will get away. Very nice. So we find the pins right there. Pop it in place, I give it a little wiggle. Pop that back over. Pop that down, this pops off. Processor is installed. All right. Next, we want to check out the water blocks. So in the last video where I put this particular system together with some EK parts, a lot of people were asking me questions about, say, the old EK block. Should cut this part out. And the new velocity block. If there's really any physical difference between the two. So I figured we would do them side by side. Take a look. So obviously the Velocity has RGB lights. By the looks of it, it is physically larger. And in terms of where the ports are, ports are a bit wider here and they're a bit more narrow here. So to answer the question, this block will not fit with this particular bridge because the two holes here that line up with this don't match. EK uses a strange back plate. <laughs> I'm cheesing you. Cool. It's not great, but it's working. All right. Oh, you don't have to do that. Yeah, you do. Hold on. <laughs> we got water on the motherboard though. Oops. Party fell. Slower. <laughs> <laughs> 